Well, I don't know if this is good timing or bad timing. I got, I'm almost at the tail end of this CP train there that's uh, doing a little bit of shunting before leaving the Oshelag yard. Really zoomed in here. Mm. Oh. Well, it's something to look at, eh? And it's not easy to film when you have the sun not just behind me, but like over me practically. For a while that train was leaving daily at about 1.15, 1.30. Montreal is right down there. You can tell it's the port because look, there is a cargo ship there. Yeah. There's the river. God damn. You know when you get a bit of cold wind in your eye there, it makes you cry a bit? That's when I got there. Yippers! You could watch a lot worse things on YouTube. Backing up again. Pick up a few more cars, I guess. What's Arctic Scrap doing here? Scrap. Probably came from the Stinson garage, which I was next to yesterday. Kind of a unique twist. I mean, the view view is good. The weather is decent. Got some diesel smoke. This here yard, which unfortunately, as you can see, is really not as busy as it was once was, and used to be like three times the size of this, is next also to a uh, Montreal Public Works garage. <laughs> Sidewalk cleaners. We've got like an army of those. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna fill more than this. It's not gonna really gonna get better than this because eventually he's gonna pick up all the cars that are necessary for the trip and leave and not back up, basically. Hey, what happens if I got the camera here on this ledge? Oh, beautiful. It's perfect. Okay, it's not perfect, but hey, there's no shaking. And I can hear the 
forward a much more local look at the back there. I film it and I see it. Uh, down there somewhere. If you're watching this, then you love transportation, just like me. <laughs> <laughs>